Batch processing can save you quite a bit of time when it comes to image resizing. Here's an example of a PowerPoint presentation that has uh, uh, 26 PowerPoint slides. Now, I need to resize them. Uh, one of the problems is, is that these images are 960 by 720. And this one was 64 kilobytes. If you come along here, you can see there are 86 kilobytes, 76 kilobytes, 89 kilobytes, which could take some time to download depending on your connection speed. I've actually created a 320 by 240 uh, viewing screen, so I want to bring all these images down to 320 by 240. Now, in the olden days, we used to do this one side at a time. And so I'll open this up for fireworks. So we have this slide called All in the Family. I want to bring it down to 320 by 240. So I used to go to Modify, Canvas, Image Size. And uh, I have constraints on. So when I change the first one, the second one changes as well. So I'll change that to 320 by 240 pixels. And I'd hit OK. And this would process this single image. But that would take me about a minute to process one image. And I've got 26. By the time I've taken my coffee break, I've spent an hour or so working on this process. And I'd like to get it done in just a few seconds. Well, Fireworks provides us with a batch processing mechanism. And you just click on Batch Process. And here's my slides. Now I can select these slides uh, one at a time if I hit Control and just select any one I want, keeping the Control key down. I could hit the Shift key, select one slide, and then a whole series of slides. But in this case, I want to batch them all at once. So I'm just going to hold my cursor down and, and let up, and I selected all the images. Important here to add them all. And once they're added, you just hit the Next button. And I'm in the batch screen here. And I'm going to choose a batch process. There's a lot of things I can do. I can export, I can scale, I can find and replace, I can rename, a number of other commands that I can select and do. But in this particular case, I'm going to scale. And I use this most oftenly to scale images. So I hit the scale, and I'm going to choose what type of scaling I want, and I want a size to fit. And in this particular case, I want 320 by 240. And I just hit the Next button. And I'm almost ready to batch. Uh, just a few things to point out here. I can send it to the same location or to another location. And I always want to keep a backup of my slides because I make mistakes. And so I want to be able to go back to the original slides. So I keep that marked backup. And make sure that's marked. Or you'll write over the slides that you have already. You can overwrite to existing backups or you can increment backups. I typically only do this once because I want to reduce the number of files I'm dealing with. So I override the existing. But just keep in mind that if you uh, overwrite twice, you've lost the originals. I just hit the batch button, and my slides start batching one at a time. And as you can see here, it's, it's a very quick process, and boy, does it save time. And you can batch also audios, videos, and uh, other documents as well. It just depends on uh, the software that you're working with and what you want to produce. Wait here for a moment for the process to complete. And there you go. And there you go. In a matter of maybe a minute or so, you've batched all your images at once. So let's take a look at what that looks like. So if I go back one, hit my PowerPoint slides again. Here's my original slides right here. And they're all still the same size. But here's my new slides. And you can see, oh, the size is tremendously reduced. Now we're at 13K, 14K, 12K, which is pretty fast uh, upload. And they're 320 by 240, just as I wanted them. Just keep in mind that whenever you put an image into a PowerPoint uh, presentation, just resizing it in the PowerPoint presentation is not enough. You've just resized its presentation size. You've got to come along into some type of imaging software and bring that image size down, or you'll have a very large PowerPoint presentation. You want these things to run smoothly on the web, and the way to do that is to optimize your images, and batch processing is a great way to do it.